November knockout, Iowa Buck gets a rage in the cage. What's your favorite phase of the deer season to hunt? Well, if it's the rut, then we got you covered with all the big buck action you can handle. I'm Matt Drury, and you're watching another installment of DOD TV. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by PSE's Carbon Air Experience Performance. We all know that Iowa is known for the land of the giant whitetails, and DOD team member Tom Ware is no stranger to these Midwest monarchs. Last fall, Tom Ware had his good buddy and team member Mike Clemenson up for the peak of the rut, and there was no shortage of gigantic big buck action. My buddy Mike's coming up to Iowa to hunt with me, Mike Clemenson, and I tell you what, he always seems, every time he gets an Iowa tag, he gets the job done. We're going after a buck, six-year-old buck we call Joker. He's just a massive wide, he's, he's either six by six or six by five, I can't remember. First night in, I believe it was October 28th, we're in the box blind, he comes into just this little half acre clover plus field, he's following a doe. It's almost like he knows we're there. The only bad thing, not enough light. I have to call Clem off. There's just not enough light, as you can see. That night after I call him up, we look at the winds. We got the right wind to hunt the ridge right where he came out of the timber that night. So we actually go up in a morning hunt. We're in a tree now, and bam, we see Joker again. Here he comes. He's with a couple other younger bucks. We've got a great encounter. He's just a little bit too far. That's how it happens in the deer woods, October 29th here in Iowa. Just like that, uh, three big bucks, uh, three nice bucks, and we think that that joker buck was that third one in the back. I didn't get a real good look at it, but I'm pretty sure that was him. But my goodness gracious, if the cold won't make you shake, the big bill of bucks will. We hunt several more days. We see joker a couple more times. We just can't get him close enough. So. We really are kind of, hey, he's winning the game. So we decided to go to a lease. We went to an 80 acre lease that we had and there's several big bucks on the camera, Reconyx camera over there on this lease. We're sitting in a little funnel. It pinches between big timber and out, they're heading out to a cornfield. So we know that, hey, it's during the rut. Uh, it's November 8th. We go in early, about 1 p.m. We know we're gonna have good, good time whether we see deer or not. Still November 8th. Going after a buck we call Brush Pile in here. Another big buck from last year's stilts, but he hasn't shown up on any of the reconics or anything. Can opener too. Oh yeah, can opener. So those three bucks, but Brush Pile's kind of the one. Stilts would be the number one, but like I said, we haven't seen him, so let's just hope he shows up tonight. Tommy will put an arrow. Well, we're sitting there enjoying the sunshine. It's a beautiful day. I'm with my best friend in the tree. I couldn't be happier. Then all of a sudden we hear something off to our left. Cows. Cows come through. There's a hole in the fence. It's a broken fence. So we knew we had, to, we had to fix that. I ended up saying, hey, I'll get down out of this tree and go fix the fence. I went and fixed the fence, got back in. I'm glad I did because uh, they came back later and, the cat, and they couldn't get through the fence and they moved off and it, it made our hunt uh, enjoyable because they were gonna go out to the cornfield that the deer were going to. We got those cows to move over. We're just sitting there waiting for a big buck to come, and that's exactly what happened. 
I look at my Nikons, I could see through the timber far off. I saw him pretty far off, maybe 75 yards away. And I said, Clem, here comes a pretty big buck. I didn't know which deer it was, and but I knew I had several big bucks on Reconyx. So when he came in, Clem's like, how big is he? You know, you, your heart starts thumping and, you, and you're wondering, is he big enough? Is he big enough? I said, he's pretty big. I think I would have recognized him, but he had, we called him can opener, the buck ends up shooting. But he had, he had broke off that little, that little flyer on his, I think it was on his right beam. And uh, that, that, that was the, the noticeable thing that I didn't see. So I wasn't able to, I wasn't for sure which buck it was. But I know he was a big buck and he's huge body. And uh, Clem made a phenomenal shot on him. These Iowa tags are so hard to get, but God, it's fun on here. I love that man behind the camera. Thank you, Don. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, buddy. Tom, I'll track this one by myself. If you just help me load it. Big mainframe 10. Tommy thought this was can opener. I think it was. That's all been busted off there. Oh, yeah, right there. You were right, Tom. That's can opener, what buck we call can yeah. Had Reconyx pictures of him. Tom knew this deer. Oh, oh beautiful. Man, beautiful. He's gorgeous, Clem. Great shot. The great thing about it is he actually shot, shot him with the rage right through it. He was able to go up across the creek and make it to the top of the other side of the creek and that's where our truck was. So he got up to the other side on his own and it, it made it so this, these old men didn't have to do as much work. Talk about a buck parade. In the comments section, let us know if you've ever punched that coveted Iowa tag and let us know what you got. Thanks for watching this edition of DOD TV. Until next time, safe hunting.